It was a busy earnings day dominated by corporate news. And we begin with something no one saw coming. Biotech firm Biogen surprised investors when it said its experimental Alzheimer's treatment was ready to start the regulatory approval process. As you may recall, just seven months ago, the company discontinued its study of the drug, which some on Wall Street had expected to be Biogen's next blockbuster. Analysts say the profit potential is huge because there are no current therapies to reverse the effects of the disease, a disease that affects millions and is projected to affect millions more in the years to come. That news sent shares of Biogen up 26 percent, its best one-day gain since 1996. But as Meg Terrell reports, while there is renewed hope, there is also a long road ahead. It was a diagnosis you don't expect in your early 50s. Jeff Borgoff was only 51 when he was told he has early onset Alzheimer's disease. With no drugs approved to slow Alzheimer's progression, Borgoff enrolled in a clinical trial of an experimental drug made by Biogen. It's called aducanumab, and it's designed to attack the amyloid plaque buildups in the brain associated with Alzheimer's. When you're, you're participating in a clinical trial, or the experience for me participating in the clear clinical trial was, was one of adulation. I was really happy to be part of it. Borgoff was in the trial for three years, going every month to a center to have an infusion of the drug. He says he thought it was helping. Everyone in my family noticed a, 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 a marked uh, improvement in my, uh, my cognition. For your family to see you doing things that you were having trouble with before, uh, you know, th those, are the, those are things that becoming very exciting to you. Then, in March of this year, shocking news. Biogen stopped development of the drug, saying an interim analysis suggested it wasn't helping patients. The trials stopped. Borgoff says he was devastated. Seven months later, another about face. This morning, Biogen announced the drug was back. A new analysis of more data, it says, suggested the drug actually may work, helping slow the declines in ability to think clearly and remember things associated with the disease. As a result, Biogen plans to to file for approval in early Alzheimer's disease with the FDA early next year. Wall Street responded enthusiastically, driving Biogen stock back to the level it had been in March when the trials were stopped. If the drugs approved, it would be the first cleared to slow the course of the disease. And that means big business, with almost 6 million Americans living with Alzheimer's. But some skepticism remains. Alzheimer's disease has an incredibly high failure rate in drug development, 99.6 percent by some counts. And many analysts say they want to see more data on the drug and the trials before being convinced the drug really works. Biogen says it aims to offer patients like Borgoff, who participated in the trials, access to aducanumab before approval. Borgoff says he's elated. We're going out to dinner tonight to celebrate. His advice to others facing a diagnosis of Alzheimer's? You've been diagnosed with a neurodegenerative disease. It's not the end of your life at that moment. You should do everything that you can to try to uh, do all of the things that are known uh, to help to hopefully extend your life. And he suggested look to join a clinical trial. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Meg Terrell.